Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So a bit of a different one today. What we're going to do is we're going to test your ability to identify winning products versus losing products. So in this video, I've got seven, seven different products, which I'm going to show you um, numbers one through to seven. I have the sales history behind each of these products. And what I want you to do is before I show you the sales history is make a judgment of whether you think it's a six figure product. Whether you think these products have done over $100,000 in sales. Be honest, keep track of how many get right, how many get wrong, and then at the end of the video, leave a comment down below. Be honest, let me know how many out of the seven you got correctly. This is not just a random video for the sake of doing a YouTube video. The point of doing this video is to show you that you should not always judge a product based on your own perception. I fell foul of this, and I have fallen foul of this many times before. To give you an example, I found a pug necklace on AliExpress. It was a hideous thing, but the data looked really good. The data looked and pointed in the direction of it being a great product to sell, but it was hideous. It was a steel-backed necklace, and the emblem, or the main um, charm, I suppose you should call it, it had different blotches and patches of colors and it was awful it was just the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen before but the numbers look good so i thought what the hell let's test it anyway as somebody who's been selling in the pet niche now for eight years too i would like to think i have a relatively good chance of being able to pick the winners versus the losers however with this one i was totally wrong it turned out to be a great product that did well over six figures a very successful product for myself and this was a product that at first glance i didn't look at twice so that is the reason for doing this video you should not judge a product based on your own perception you should always follow the data and the evidence so with that being said let the games begin let's jump into and take a look at product number one product number one we have this Simplex V2 lightsaber from Art Sabers, artsabers.com. This is a website, they have 65 reviews, free shipping, all the typical stuff you'd expect from a normal e-commerce website. Let's have a look through at some of the different imagery so you can see how it comes packaged, how it comes delivered, the different options. They have different variations starting from 80 pounds for RGB, or they have the different color variations for 137 pounds. No extensive kind of description. They have some information here that goes into the different functions and features of it. So what do you think? Do you think it's a six-figure product or do you think it's a flop? Let's jump onto flipper.com. This is a business that's been in business for four years and its average monthly profit is 46,000 US dollars. And we can scroll down to the bottom and see its annual revenue is 2.6 million dollars. This is indeed a proven six figure products not just in sales but in annual profit as well product number two we have a premium cuddle companion we have a business called the snug hooks if you've watched or followed the channel you'll be familiar with this one basically it's a pillow that you cuddle up to when you're pregnant when you have back issues hip issues struggling to sleep there's lots of different applications for it, chronic injuries, falling asleep, insomniacs, nursing mothers, kids absolutely love it. So what do you think? Is this a six figure product? Make your guesses now. Or jump onto flipper.com, thestokos.com.au. Four years in business, average monthly profit of 6,000 US dollars. We can take a look at their sales history here. And what we can see is from the very first month of this year. So Jan 1st to Jan 31st in 2024, over $100,000 and that's just in that month. If we actually come down into the about business, we can see October 50K, November 57K, December 64K, January 111, 73K, 50K, 35K, and then May 5.7K. This is indeed a proven six figure product. So two out of two. Moving on to product number three, a product close to a niche, that's close to my very own heart. We have this baseball hat, it's a gold cap. If you're not familiar with golf, this is the exact font used by a very popular golfing brand called Titleist, and they have used a very interesting play on words to put on a cap and sell as their own brand. So what do you think? Is this a six-figure product? This is their website. Do you think it's a good design? Do you think it's a bad design? It's not a popular niche either when it comes to dropshipping or print on demand. So make your guesses now. Is it a six-figure product? Is it a flop? 
jump onto flipper.com. They've been in business for one year, the average monthly profit of $3,000. But let's come all the way down into the financial statistics for the year for the past 12 months with an annual revenue of $125,000 and an annual profit of $40,000. Yes, this is a proven six figure product, and yes, it is also a profitable one. So, three out of three. Have you gotten all three, or is that the very first one that you thought may have flopped, but it's actually done pretty good? Moving on to product number four then, we have these sunglasses at 75 pounds. Again, if you're familiar with the channel and you follow the channel, you'll know the answer to this one because I featured them recently. This is a product, let me tell you right now, that this company buys this product for approximately three pounds. They sell it for 75 pounds. This is their website. I can tell you they use an organic strategy to grow their business. This is the layout, this is the design. We can come to the bottom, there's not any reviews whatsoever. So what do you think? Is this a proven six-figure product? We can jump onto flipper.com. Site age is only four months, when you've been in business for four months. They're using an organic strategy, so they have a profit margin of 60% an average monthly profit of 7,000 US dollars. If we come down into the financial statistics, we can see total revenue for those months is only $50,000. This is not a proven six-figure product. However, it is still a profitable one. So that was product number four, and so far we're three for four. Moving into product number five, we have these shark slippers. This is their website, an interesting website. It's in Spanish, so it has been translated into English. It looks pretty simplistic and basic. Three and a half thousand reviews apparently. They're running an offer, 10 euros reduced. They have the different sizes. All of the necessary information is there. It is a kind of proven viral product. People would probably call this. It's been about for a while. So what do you think? Is it a proven six figure product? We jump onto flipper.com. This is the company Blendex. Only been in business for two months an average monthly profit of $3,000. And if we come down into the sales history, we can see the total revenue is only $11,000. This is not a proven six-figure product just yet. However, potentially there's some potential here with a total profit of $6,000 if these numbers are correct. The sixth product then, we have this Hydro Water Bottle. A very popular niche that's growing in trend. More and more big names are talking about it. The likes of Joe Rogan on his podcast, the likes of Dana White and some of his athletes. This is the website. You can see the name drop in, the big names, Men's Health, Women's Health, Harvard, the Joe Rogan experience. They've got their logo on the product. Over 25,000 reviews. A very well put together website with very, very good branding. As we can see here, they've got a person holding the product with the brand on. Everything looks very well established. Everything looks very well legit. They have these nice touches that have added to the website. What do you think? Proven six-figure products or proven flop? We jump onto flipper.com. Been in business for one year. The monthly profit is 66,000 US dollars. So you can probably guess it's a proven six-figure product. It's actually a proven seven-figure product with $1.5 million in sales. Moving on to the seventh and final product then, we have this children's 3D learn to draw, learn to write book. What's really interesting and unique about this is that the ink actually disappears, allowing the, allowing the child to reuse it over and over again. So it's not just a one use case scenario. They can use it many, many times for many, many weeks and months to help develop their writing, to learn how to spell, how to do simple maths, how to draw, that sort of thing. A really well-designed website, however, a super cheap product. Only 15 pounds for one or only 26 pounds for four. So what do you think? Is it a proven six-figure one? We'll jump onto flipper.com. They've been in business for one year. Average monthly profit of $6,000. We'll jump into the financial statistics for the past 12 months, 384,000 US dollars in sales with an annual profit of $70,000. So yes, it is a proven six-figure product in sales and it is very nearly a proven six-figure product in profit as well. So there are the seven products. Let me know what your score is. Put it down in the comment section. Let me know which ones surprised you for being the successful ones. And the key thing to take away from this video is do not judge your products based on your own perception. Always, always, always follow the numbers, follow the data. Data, numbers, it's black and white. It does not lie. With that being said, guys, before you go, if you are interested in some one-to-one -one help in taking one of these products and building your very own business around it and scaling that business to 5, 10, 15K and beyond, I want to invite you into booking onto a call, a Google Meet with myself. We can have a chat in a bit more depth, get to know each other, 
see where you're at now, see where you wanna be with my help. And if it's a goal I can help you achieve, we can talk through in a bit more detail in how the process works. To do this, all you need to do is check out the video description below, click that link, it'll take you through to a series of questions and into my calendar where you can book a date and time that suits you for us to meet and have that chat. Look forward to seeing you then. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.